Hi, and welcome to the Sabbath Christian Church's online sermon. We are reminded of the power of the sound on the Feast of Trumpets. It's a feast day for the trumpets, but trumpets resounds quite a bit through a lot of many things that we will find out. In Leviticus 23, 24, it says, Speak to the sons of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first of the month, you shall have a rest, a reminder, by blowing of trumpets, a holy convocation. So this is one of the powers of it. It is a feast day to the Lord that has a day of rest from all other things to hear the sound and understand the power of that meaning. Also, in Joshua 6.4 it says, the priests shall carry the seven trumpets of the ram's horn, so that we know what the trumpets are made out of now, the ram's horn before the ark. So the ark of the covenant, which contains the commandments and everything else that's important there. And on the seventh day, you shall march around the city seven times. What city? Well, they're going into Canaan. And the big wall around Canaan. And, there, and it shall be when they make a long blast with the ram's horn. And when you hear the sound of the trumpet and all the people will shout with a great shout because they hear that sound and they imitate it in a human voice kind of thing that's different. But still the wall of the city will fall down flat and the people will go up every man straight ahead. The trumpet blew down the walls of evil that were protecting these evil people. The power of the trumpets. Raise your battle cry, it says in Jeremiah 50, 15. Against her on every side, she has given herself up, her pillars have fallen a reminder of how they got to where they are. Her walls have been torn down. This is the vengeance of the Lord. To take vengeance on her, she has done to others, so do to her. The blowing of the trumpets and the power of the trumpets even on holy days, the trumpets are blown. In Leviticus 25, 9, it says, You shall then sound a ram's horn abroad on this tenth day of the seventh month on the Day of Atonement. Coming up in a few days, you shall sound the horn all through your land. They did it that way in those days. That kind of power existed. In Numbers 10, 7, it says, When convening the assembly, however, you shall blow without sounding an alarm. So the trumpet sound is an alarm, but it's also a sound to bring people together without worrying. Kind of protective sound. The priestly sons of Aaron, moreover, shall blow the trumpets, and this shall be a perpetual statute throughout your generations, which we continue throughout our generations. When you go to war against the adversary who attacks you, then you shall sound the alarm with your trumpets. The alarm is different from us, and we can blow our own trumpets to uh, be protected, and uh, that we may be remembered before the Lord your God and be saved from our enemies, your enemies, he said. So the blowing of that trumpet, even in our minds, will have a powerful effect. And also in the day of your gladness, 
and in your appointed feasts, on the first days of your month, you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings. So the trumpets is announcing that we have these burnt offerings and sacrifice uh, of peace offerings. The trumpet does all that. And it shall be a reminder of you before your God. I am the Lord your God. And Isaiah 44, 23 it says, shout for joy, all the heavens, for the Lord has done it. Shout for joy. That's our trumpet sound. You mountains and the forest and every tree. For the Lord has redeemed Jacob. He has redeemed us with Jesus. And he has shown forth his glory. And Hebrews 12, 9, it says, And to the blast of a trumpet, the sound of words which sound, which was those who heard and begged no further word be spoken to them. It says it all. The blast of the trumpet and the sound of words. The blast of the trumpets. And 1 Corinthians, it says, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, the last trumpet, the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the sound of the trumpet, the power of the trumpet, the love of God that comes from that trumpet, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. The power of the trumpet, the sound that God gives us to demonstrate all these things. And in uh, 1 Thessalonians 4.16, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, which is our trumpet sound, with the voice of the archangel, and the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. The power of the trumpet is unbelievably great and eternal and loving. Amen. And thank you for watching and listening.